Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and I am a drone pilot, but I do fly RC planes. I taught myself how to fly RC planes about one year ago exactly. And since then, I've been flying tons of planes. I must have flown over 50 or 60 different models of planes by now within the course of a year. So I have my FMS hat on. That means I must be showing you an FMS plane. And this is the P-51 Mustang Red Tail. You see, it's got a red tail on it. This plane has been around for a while and it's been around for so long that they're up to version 8 so you've got a 70 amp ESC you got this beautiful four bladed prop the landing gear are shock absorbing struts so when you come down hard there are shock absorbers on them the tail landing gear actually goes up into the fuselage when you close everything so when you fly over yourself you don't see any landing gear at all it's really sweet looking watch the wheels up top and down here the sequencer the whole system Fear up. that opens those go in, and if you look at the bottom, the bottom one's in, and then back up, and then it's going to close the doors. Okay, yeah. Super realistic. Get it down. Open it. Bottom one comes out, and the top ones go out. There we go. It does have lights on the wings. It has your normal flaps. It has ailerons, rudder, and elevators. The level of detail on this plane is really good. From the cockpit where the pilot is, to all the graphics along the side, to the bottom. It looks beautiful in the air, and it's a Mustang. So all Mustangs, I don't know of any bad Mustangs on the market, they all perform amazing. Now, if I look pretty tiny compared to the plane itself, that's because the wingspan on this plane is 1450 millimeters so yeah don't look at my white legs so i'll put what that is in inches below but that is really big now i can say since i've learned how to fly planes mustangs are some of the nicest planes to fly they fly so well so i'm assuming this one will fly just as well. I haven't flown it yet. This is going to be the maiden when you see the flight coming up. So the other thing you're going to see in this video is the box this comes in and I'm going to show you how to assemble it. But how about we go to the field right now where I take it for a flight. Here I am out at my field and if you've watched many of my maiden flights with FMS planes or any planes in general, I always have bad luck and on the field there's tractors and there's humans everywhere and I have no place to fly and I'm dodging everything. But look at this this morning. A little bit of sun happening and there's nobody out and the parking lot is a little bit empty too. Woohoo! So I'm going to get out there and fly really quick. So the plane I have today is the P-51 Mustang Redtail. This thing's a beast. Now like all my flights when I come out to my field and show you a plane, it's pretty much a maiden flight so this will be a maiden with this Mustang. I have flown Mustangs before and they all fly beautifully so I expect this one to fly the same. I mentioned this morning I came out here because no one's ever around and I beat the school kids but over here we have a gentleman his name is Rob and he loves RC planes and he just finished work and he saw me over here with the Mustang so he's going to be standing over here to watch. Okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect the battery power this on. There we go. <clears throat> she'll start herself up please note that for this maiden flight i'm using a 4000 milliamp hour 4s lipo battery okay like every plane i'm gonna check elevators up down rudder that's right that's good and then of course we have the ailerons doing their thing and let's put our flaps on there's no wind at the moment but i'm gonna use flaps because of all this crappy dirt out here so i'm gonna put max flaps there we go and of course our prop Motor on. good i think we're all set to go rob Wish me, wish me luck. The maiden flight. Whoa, that took a while to get up. So I'm going to kill the flaps, get some speed. Flaps level. Still got the gear down. I'm going to bring it around. This is a maiden. There's been no trimming done on this plane whatsoever. And as I come by, I'm going to bring the gear up. Gear Gear's up. going up. There we go. That looks so authentic. There we go. Let's do some low passes. There we go. Oh my God, it's <laughs> gorgeous looking. Slowing it down. I'm gonna bring it closer over the grass this time. Almost like I'm gonna land it, but I'm not gonna land it. There we go. Got a little bit of a breeze, giving it a crosswind. And there we go. Okay, Rob, I'm going to try to bring it right between us. Try is the operative word. It might drift a little because it hasn't been trimmed, but here we go. I got it. There we go. It could use a little trimming, but I don't have any time to trim it in this little maiden review. 
So flight time with something like this, I'm gonna get maybe eight minutes flight time on the battery I have in it. Coming in for a full throttle pass, low pass. Bring it down a little bit and now full throttle. There we go. Two minutes. The boogies. All right, we're gonna bring it back for a landing. I'm gonna go over once, make sure the gear is down. I'm gonna put the gear down as I fly over. Make sure we're all good. Coming nice and low. Actually, they say you can land this on grass. So you know what? The next time I'll land it on grass. Watch, gear's going down. Gear's going down. There we go. Tight turn. And we're gonna bring it in nice and slow. There we go. Bring it down for a nice landing. There we go, baby. So, Rob, what did you think? Yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> I don't think I could do as good. Well, you know what? I've already been flying a year. That's that's after a year. So watch yourself after a year. Too, yeah, drone. Ex yeah, I'm a drone pilot. So, but I will tell you the most challenging thing about flying a plane on a maiden is flying on a maiden and talking doing a video. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because I have to just keep the plane flying close by. I don't have time to trim it because to trim it, I'd have to go up high and then the audience wouldn't see it. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, she's a beaut. All right, the sun has gone out, but that was a pretty good maiden. That was my maiden with this P41 red tail. It's pretty awesome. It flies like a typical Mustang. So if you have any other Mustang in your collection and you want this massive baby, then I would highly suggest get this one. So the next thing I want to show you is how large the box is when you get this and what you get inside the box and how you put everything together to build the plane you see before you. So uh, check this out. Here we have the large box, the red tail comes in. Items in the box include the instruction manual, the main wings, right and left, along with right and left wedge pieces, two wing spars, one made out of carbon fiber and one made out of aluminum. You also have the removable fuel pods for the wings, the horizontal stabilizer, the vertical stabilizer, the main body of the P-51, which already has the motor installed, as well as the electronics installed, as well as all the stickers installed. Next, you have a bag of goodies containing all the little pieces to mount every piece onto the plane. Next, you have your nose cone, propeller assembly, and hardware to mount everything together. And finally, you have a USB-C cable, just in case you want to reprogram the included reflex system. Now, let me show you how to quickly assemble the plane. The first thing you need to do is install the included control horns on the elevator, on the rudder, on the ailerons, and on the flaps. Next, for each of these control horns, you're going to have to attach the metal linkage with a clevis on the end, attach it between the servo and the control horn. For the next assembly, simply place the carbon fiber spar and the aluminum spar into each wing, push the wings together until they fit tightly. To secure the wings together, attach the plastic retainers. The horizontal stabilizer and vertical stabilizer attach together at the end of the fuselage. Just make sure after you attach everything that the elevator and rudder moves freely. Next, glue the wing wedges into place. Next, flip the plane upside down, attach the main wings and secure them in place with the included screws. The plastic motor exhaust ports are simply glued into position. The guns on each wing are also glued into position. As well, the rear antenna is also glued. The main propeller is assembled by attaching the four prop blades as shown here and securing them in place with the included screws and nuts. The prop assembly is then placed over the motor spindle and a washer is applied. Then screw the nut on and tighten in place. Finally, the nose cone is secured with the included screws. All right, so you can see this plane is not that hard to put together and uh, it is a beautiful bird. If you have this in your collection, you will definitely get people looking at you at the field because it looks stunning. It flies stunning. It's really, really good. And I like that it flies on a 4S battery because 4S batteries are not expensive and there's plenty of room in that canopy to put all sorts of things. This is one of those planes that's made to take off from grass and land on grass. So it's the plane to have. So with all that said, the links to this plane from F FMS are below. Go check it out. It is one of their big sellers. They are up to version 8, so you know it's totally refined. But for now, I say I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have questions on this plane, just post them below and I'll get back to you. But for now, I say bye.